Absolutely no complaints on the weather front. It's an ideal day for football here in Dortmund at the Signal Iduna Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the lineup for Dortmund. Julian Brandt plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the center of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the contest begins. Nico Schlotterbeck. Now with Bellingham. Adeyemi. A chance to whip it in. But he took care of it defensively. Oh, that's a really good run. And a useful cross. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? I would describe Oh, him. Stuart, a chance! Strong hand on that one. A concession of a corner here. <laughs> Delivering it. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. And it's gone behind for the corner. sure nothing came of that well, couldn't quite find his teammate a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in options in the centre and still looking to get the shot off. And no problems at all for the keeper. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Well, he's lost it. Now, who can he play it to? Yusufa Mukoko. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Oh, fancy footwork. Magnificent defending. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it.
And there to intervene. Jude Bellingham. Oh, the threat is there. No way through. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Interception to snuff out the danger. Gunter. And Grifo in possession. Real chance. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Really good challenge. Daniel Malin. Could cross it in here. And deliver towards the back post. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, sometimes they come off for you, sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there, and as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. So, one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. How about the cross? Gregoric! Brilliant save! The referee's whistle, and so the first half has come to an end here at the Zignal Iduna Park. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the... Well, as they get the ball rolling again... Interesting to see how this second half pans out. Ritsu Doan. And a timely intervention. And given away. towards that far post it might still be problematic well he read that brilliantly at the back and under pressure that was a fine claim the high press was very much on able to get a body in the way well he really read that brilliantly can he give them the lead and the ball is loose constantly thwarted Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. <laughs> this to make it 1-0. And a timely save well they've been frustrated for quite a while now but these fans have suddenly come to life and delivered by Rafael Guerrero well they couldn't take advantage of the chance the move to the inside and quite simply wide of the target Running room 
in the wide position. Cross-fired over. And a time for composure on the ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, Dortmund have it once again. Advantage, Borussia Dortmund. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Really good challenge. Able to skip past his man. Gregoric! Oh, chance missed! Nil-nil it remains. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. And now that play has stopped, the referee can administer the booking. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. That's useful play. Real chance. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Oh, that pass easy on the eye, but in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. Nicolas Hofner. He's given it straight to the opposition. Brandt. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between the sides. And he has options available. Well read to ease the pressure. Shot attempted. Body on the line. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Can he finish them off? Oh, denied him brilliantly. Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is. Time for a change then. Fired over by Guerrero. And there it is, the final whistle, a satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.